can add some effects to our video as well. So I'm going to use our time square here as an effect uh, example. And again, back here over in the effects panel, you have lots of different options to play with. You have different presets you can choose from. Maybe we'd like a beveled edge here. I click and drag it on. And if you look here, you can see you have a slightly beveled edge, kind of creating a special effect here. And here it is up in our effects control. You can make it bigger or smaller, change the angle, change the color. Basically mess with it any way we would like. Or we can choose to remove it entirely. There are so many different effects you can choose from in here that it is great if you can take some time and mess with it a little bit to learn them. Ins and outs are great effects for transitions. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and add a blur in effect. Move our timer just a bit before. Now let's watch what happens as we move from our country scene to our city scene. You can see we added in a nice effect to bring that clip in. Great transition and we can add a blur out as well. Let's see what happens. Or by the seashore. Nice transition. Scrolling all the way down, in and out effects for transitions are really very important. Now I'm going to add an in here. Or by the seashore. You see how much smoother that makes your video. Additionally, if you scroll down, you see more options besides your presets. You have other transition options as well. I click and drag it to the end or beginning and let go. And if we go to the beginning, and I'm just going to turn the sound off for a moment so we can play this and just watch our transitions. It makes for a much smoother, prettier looking video. It gives you a very professional look and adds considerable visual interest to your project.